In this video, we're going to talk about ROS actions. Before we jump into the main topic of this video, if you're new to my channel, this channel is all about robotics, controls, machine learning, and computer vision, so subscribe to learn more. I have a bunch of playlists on computer vision, software, mechanical. This one's on OpenCV, ROS2, Python, C++, Git, mechanical design, SOLIDWORKS, and here's my GitHub that goes along with it. So let's jump back into the topic of this video. So actions lets you communicate between nodes with a goal, feedback, and result in a client-server fashion. So we'll see it in action. But first, let's uh, run two nodes. So ROS2 run uh, turtle sim, turtle sim node. And then in the other one, we're going to run our teleop. So let me slide this over. So we have... Um, ROS to run turtle sim, turtle teleop key. So you can see our turtle is moving. And then in the teleop window, what we're going to do is observe the following. So if we press uh, G, you can see that it's rotating. And you can see here it's going to tell us the, the status. So uh, if we press one of the letters and cancel early, we're going to see something else happen. So if I press, uh, let's say, like a different key. So if I press F here, it says rotation got canceled, right? So I do it again. Pretty much any time you press a key and then you press F, it is going to say goal canceled. And then if I try toggling between uh, two commands here, you're going to see that uh, rotation goal received before a previous goal finish, aborting previous goal. So it's always going to take the latest goal command. So that's, that's one of the beauties of actions. So we want to see the action clients in node info on the bottom. So if we do ROS2 node info, and we're going to pass in teleop turtle. So we could see all the info for this node here. And you can see specifically in the actions, there is this uh, absolute, the ro rotate absolutes that we've been monitoring. Okay. And we could do a ROS2 action list. This will show all the actions. And you could see dash T for the type associated with it. Okay. And we can also see the action info. We could do ROS2 action info and then pass in the action name. So we have turtle one rotate absolute. So this will tell us the action, action clients, action servers. So you can see the client is a teleop and the server is a turtle sim. So we can see the data type for the action by using the interface. So we do ROS2 interface show and then pass in turtle sim action rotate absolute. We can see that it communicates by using a float32 of theta. Okay. And then that's desired, and you have the angular displacement in radians. It's also uh, it's going to be a delta. Okay, so we could go ahead and now send action goals following this structure called ROS2 action send goal, and then you pass in the action name, action type, and the goal. Okay, so if I copy this line here, and if I run this here, you see I have ROS2 action send goal. The turtle one rotate absolute and the turtle sim action rotate absolute. Okay, so if I go ahead and run this, you're gonna see that um, it moved, or actually it was already somewhere else. So if I uh, make it go elsewhere, like D for example, and then I run this again, you're gonna see it rotate facing up. Okay, so in my next video, I will go over how to view logs, so go check that out. If you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.